Hey, how you doing? This is you from Ewings. Um, want to do a quick video just to show you the two different options basically for motor mounting. So this is my one here. Um, you see basically this is the motor mounted inboard. So it's the same mount they all use, um, which basically clamps on uh, to the back of the foam. But essentially to mount the motor inboard, you have to cut out a section of foam, basically just a, a rectangle or block of foam out. Align it with the, the top tabs here of the motor mount um, and I've just cut a bit of a groove in there just to aid the airflow into the motor. But essentially what this gives you is an inboard motor mount which allows basically you to hit the CG um, a bit easier with a single battery in the front. So I know, um, I don't have a battery in there, but I know Matt has balanced his basically with two Multistar 5200 4S batteries. Um, which it flies fine with, um, but if you want to go with a single battery setup, probably mounting the motor inboard um, is going to be the, the, the best way to hit that. So I've got a few cameras in here just for, for doing some different shots. But basically with a, a run cam style camera, FPV camera, um, and the 5200 all the way up, with the motor mounted inboard you should be able to hit the CUG. So CUG can be anywhere basically from about a centimetre back to round about three centimetres back which comes in just uh, around about there. At the moment I'm flying this probably um, two centimetres maybe, two and a half centimetres back and it flies really really nicely. So this one is Greg's, very nice build as you can see, very clean compared to mine. Uh, but Greg's has basically got that has mounted outboard. So as I say, same motor mount this just allows you to use the standard cross style uh, mount that comes with the motors and there's locking nuts uh, supplied with the kit. Um, but with this setup, you're probably going to need maybe the two multi-stars or a heavier battery, so maybe something 6,000 6, milliamp. Something in the kind of 700 gram range would be ideal if you want to use a single battery with the, the motor outboard. Um, so yeah, so there's a couple of different options that you can use. Um, both both dual battery and single battery setups fly really well. The wings are perfectly capable of taking the extra weight of the dual batteries, but if you want to just run one, you can. So, just a quick video just to show you that. Um, so, thanks.